This problem involves the grid method for carrying and canceling units. Here's the problem statement. When wind hits a building, the pressure right here is higher than the pressure right here. And we can predict this pressure rise with an equation. So the pressure rise delta P is equal to the density of the air, the speed squared divided by 2. The goal on this problem is to calculate this pressure rise. And we want to do this calculation in units of pascals, psi, and inches of water column. We're given some information. The density of the ambient air is specified as 1.2 kilograms per cubic meter. And the mean velocity of the wind is specified as 60 miles per hour. I'm going to use consistent units because this saves time and minimizes mistakes. To apply the grid method, I'm going to use the five-step process. Step one, I'm going to write down the equation. Step two, I'm going to insert numbers with their units. Step three, I'm going to multiply by appropriate conversion ratios. Step four, I'm going to multiply and cancel units. And if I need to, I'll iterate right back to step three. And then step five, the last step, do calculations. Let's begin. To convert my wind speed from 60 miles per hour, I go to Google, type in 60 miles per hour, and I don't have to do anything, and I see my answer right there, 26.8 meters per second. Next, I go back to my problem documentation and capture this information. To apply the grid method, I write the equation down. That's step one. Step two is insert numbers and units. So density here is 1.2 kilograms per meter cubed. I've gone ahead and inserted the one half right here and the speed squared right here. Looking at the units in this term, I see I need to introduce a conversion ratio. To find a conversion ratio, I can either look this up or I can derive this. And I'm going to show you how to derive it. So I want my final answer to be in Pascals and that's a Newton per square meter. And so I know a Newton is equal to a kilogram meter per second squared because of Newton's second law, F equals MA. So I'm going to go ahead and write kilogram meter per second squared times meter squared. And this term in the squared will cancel out. And so that becomes a kilogram per meter second squared and I had Pascal over here. Now I can take this grouping of terms and divide both sides by kilogram meter per second squared. And when I do that, I'm going to get that a Pascal meter per second over a kilogram is identically equal to 1 and this becomes my conversion ratio. I've written my conversion ratio right here. Let me cancel units. Okay, kilograms cancels here. The meter and the meter squared form a meter cubed. That cancels that. And the second squareds cancel right here. And I'm left with Pascals, which is the unit I want. So I just need to multiply the terms out and I'll have the right answer and the right units. So I get this answer and the next step is I round that this answer to three significant digits so the final answer is right here. So we found the goal, the pressure rise in units of Pascal. Now let's find the next two goals, the pressure rise in units of PSI and in inches of water column. To do the unit conversions Go to your browser and enter www.onlineconversion.com. Go ahead and click on that. This is a wonderful website for converting units, just about anything. So scroll down here to pressure. Here it is. Click on that. Convert what quantity. So type in 431.6. 
The from is the from Pascals. So scroll down here to Pascals. The two is a unit we want to convert to. And so if we scroll down to pounds per square inch, right there. And if you scroll up, you see it's already done the conversion. There's the answer in pounds per square inch. And then if we move back up here and we scroll to inches of water, so inches of water at 4 degrees C, we see that that's 1.73 inches of water. Next I'll summarize the answers. The pressure rise in Pascals is here, in pounds per square inch gauge is here, and in inches of water column, this is the answer. Consistent units are helpful because you save time and reduce errors, and that makes me happy. The grid method is a way to carry and cancel units that works in any field and works every single time, and you always do it with the same five steps. There are four basic ways to find conversion ratios. Conversion ratios can be looked up in a book or engineering reference. Most calculators have conversion ratios built in. One can use Google to find conversion ratios. And one can also use the web. A fantastic site is onlineconversion.com. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.